Today we will play a game called Minecraft. But we have an unusual episode today because we are all pregnant today and at the end of the series we will have finally had our children. And we have come to an uninhabited spit where there is almost nobody and nothing. We need to survive to build comfortable conditions for us and give birth. Hello, friends! Hi, dear subscribers! Yes, you did not hear us. We are pregnant and will survive on a desert island. There are some animals, one tree, and of course, several mysterious places that will help us survive. I hope it'll be a lot of fun and we'll get through this or we won't have kids. Hello! Since we are on a deserted island and all around us only water, we need to save all the resources that we will get, whether it is tree seedlings or some kind of wood. We will always need resources and we will not be able to just go to the forest because we do not have it here. We need to make our own trees to get some wood. Hello? I believe in us all and hope we will overcome all difficulties despite the fact that we are pregnant. It's going to be a little hard, but we're going to have to do everything for our lives and for the lives of our future children. If we succeed, we will live on this island in comfort and nothing will stand in our way. The first thing we need to do is get the tree, which is the only tree on this island. It is very big, so we will get a lot of seedlings and wood from the first tree. As if it were just for us, it has grown so much. Now you need to quickly cut down and then just wait for the seedlings to fall in the future to plant new trees for felling. Then I made a workbench and I need to make tools for everyone so we can get faster everything we have on the island. It's just so we can make it tonight so we have beds. But first we only need tools like hoes, axes, pickaxes and shovels. You need a shovel to dig sand, a pickaxe to mine a rock. Well, I'd sooner run with a shovel and get us some sand in the house. We need it very much because it is made of glass, which can be inserted into the windows as well as make bottles of water because water is vital. To make glass, you have to put sand in the stove and put fuel in the form of wood and wait for the sand to melt into glass. So my task will be quite simple. I need to collect grass and extract wheat seeds from it, which will go to our garden in the future. We plan to make a lot of buildings so that we and our children can live in peace on this island and have nothing to fear. That's why we're gonna work so hard. I think it's time to start building our house. We have already got a lot of logs from wood and we can turn them into wood and start building a house. It will be smaller, but less comfortable for us. Soon, when we build our house, we will make room for our children so that we do not crowd in one room. But first, we have to make the foundation of our house. So, my job in building a house is of course to build window frames to insert windows, as well as to build a ceiling. We'll have windows everywhere so we can keep our eyes open because we have beautiful views everywhere. We also need to build doors because the inhabitants of this island climb into our house. This is the best. Okay. I'm going to run around the island and put seedlings that fell out of our tree. They turned out as many as eight pieces. They are enough to protect our house. You just need a little time to wait and grow new trees from such small bushes. Then we will collect saplings from them and plant more trees. And now I will go for a rock. Here is the boulder. We need very little of it, but it is better to accumulate a stock because it is the second most important object in Minecraft. We'll make a stove out of it, as well as stone tools that will make our work twice as fast. You can also make a beautiful view of our house from the stone, not the same type of wooden. So here we are at home. Now I need to scrub the stove on the workbench. It is done very simply. Just need to put a circle on the workbench. On this stove, we will just start making glass. It is good that all resources are ready and we can melt. Unfortunately, we're still out of wood, so we need to go get it for someone. So, since we have already made the basis of the house, you need to think about beds! We do not have wood yet, but there is time to look for wool. Oh, I noticed some construction where there is a web, 
And as everyone knows, if you break the web with a sword, the thread will fall. And of the four threads on the workbench just can make wool. This is just a genius idea. And now I will get all this thread. There was a chest where I found some bones and converted them into bone meal. Thanks to her, we will now grow our trees, which save us very well, and we will finally have wood. We can finally make windows in the house, as well as a wooden floor, which is so much missing. Yeah, well, we got some wood. So right now we're gonna clean out our floor space and finally put a tree up. It'll finally be warm in our feet and we can move quietly here without fear of freezing our feet. Just now, you will need to throw some wood into the oven to melt the glass in parallel. Now we've got some melted glass and we can put the first windows in our house. At last, we have good progress on building a house and not too hard to build because we're pregnant and we're not allowed to do hard work at all. But no, we feel great and nothing hurts. Well, I am finally doing windows in our house now because all the glass has melted. I hope we have all the windows we have. If it does, we will officially finish building our house because Pinkie Pie has already made our beds because she has the strings and we have everything for living in this house. And now Fluttershy and I have decided to build our wheat garden. It will be on the beach because there is water and we will not need to make a bucket of water to make a vegetable garden right near our house. It is already convenient for us to go down to the shore and collect our crops. We can from the very beginning a large vegetable garden because we have gathered a lot of seeds. We have a very coordinated work because while Twilight Sparkle builds the garden itself, I do it. Not for nothing we have a wooden hoe. Now, I'm just going to make a patch, plant a seed of wheat, and we're just going to have to wait until it's all grown up and we can already eat the bread that we're going to make of wheat. Okay, well, I'm going to pick some more wheat seeds from the grass because the bigger the better. It is good that we have a good biome on this island and we have a lot of grass, flowers, as well as a lot of sand. Oh my God, I found some cave where there's a chest. Wow, there's a lot of different kinds of plants, golden apple and bone meal. How lucky I am. Okay, and now we are going to start building the second floor of our house. We will use it for storage. But before we do that, we need to make some stairs so we can get directly to this second floor. Personally, I'm about to build a foundation that my pony friends can help build. We are great with you well, that in one day, we are already building the second floor in our house. It is good that we have wood. So I will now build as well as on the ground floor. My task is to build window frames as well as a ceiling. We will have unusual windows. They will be one block high and full wall length. I think it will be very stylish and it will not be immediately clear that there is a warehouse. A sort of secret warehouse of things we will have in the house. This is very cool. Now we will build the interior of our warehouse. It will be very large because the whole room around will be filled with chests. We don't have many things, but we haven't dug caves yet. That's why we're going to have old tools, rock, and the rest of the ore. All this will be done to reserve, so that we do not constantly go to the mines and take from here. This is a very good idea, because it saves all our time that we spend. So, now we have a very important task. As you have seen on our island, there are chickens, cows, and pigs. So now we want to make a small pen for them where we will breed them. Cows will give skin and milk and pigs meat pork. This is a very good idea because we will be with them and more fun and our children can play with them immediately. To lead cows, you just need to show them wheat because they love it very much. The main thing is to feed them. Now, if Fluttershy is leading the cows to our house, I will lead the pigs. Good thing we found the carrots, cause it'd be hard to get them all to our house by hand. They are naughty and run in different directions and very quickly. That way, they follow me so fast for carrots and I can take them to our house. They're all so cute and there's plenty of them on this island. So we're not gonna have any problems with the mumps kids because they're going to be multiplying really fast. So, and now we will make a fence for our corral of animals. It is done very simply and very well that we have a lot of wood. 
to make a fence, we need only sticks and wood. Now you will see how to make it. It is very good that you do not need any bolts. And you can just make of the improvised materials on the workbench. So, well, now we start to make a fence. We will make it right outside the house, but you need to do it very carefully and leave no gaps. Because if there are gaps, our animals will just be able to jump this fence and this pen will become completely useless for use. And now we have to get all the animals into our corral. It's going to be a pretty simple task because all the cows are there and you just have to bring them here. We made a beautiful gate so you could walk here with ease and not jump. But in order to make it much easier, we will better guide them through the fence because there are many of them and they are unlikely to be able to all go into one gate together. They just don't fit in it, that's all. By building our nice animal enclosure, we have completed all external tasks. Now we only have to build a room for our children. It will be quite simple because we already have our house and just need to make a small annex where fit four beds as well as toys with things for them. Now, I'm gonna lay the groundwork for our house as usual and then Pinkie Pie is gonna help me build my whole house. Also, I need to immediately tear down all the ground where there will be a floor because we will also make it wooden. So, my job will be to make the floor, the beams at home, and the ceiling, of course. Now we will quickly handle this task and we will have everything ready for our survival. We all manage so quickly, I remind you. We did it all in one day at Minecraft. But soon we will have to go to bed because we are very tired and we will soon have children to care for. I love surviving here so much. It's so great. Okay, I'm about to finish the final part of building the foundation of this room. I need to make walls as well as window frames because children also need to look at everything that happens around them and it will be interesting. We have a rather spacious room and the children will definitely like it. We even have glass from last time. And now we quietly insert all the windows and we will be a beautiful room. Now, to finish this room, we just need to make the interior of this room. Children must have a workbench to try to do something for themselves. There will also be a stove to their room was warm, and of course there must be a chest in which they will put their toys and not only... Okay, and I'm going to arrange toys for them. They are made very simple, and I made them in my spare time. They turned out very cool, and I think they should like it. Here there will be entertainment for every child of our house, and we will have them. Four. This room is beginning to transform very well, and it becomes even more beautiful than our room where we live. This is so cool. Well, we've finished our business, and we can rest in peace now that we've done everything. We have a very beautiful house with a second floor and even room for our children. We worked very hard during this episode and must be very tired because we are pregnant. Do you like to survive on this island, girlfriends? I really like to survive here. There are no bandits and evil mobs here. There is a separate civilization where there is no one. Only we and our animals now. We managed to make a vegetable garden, a corral for animals, and also accumulated a lot of resources. We have trees behind the house and everything belongs to us. We are great people with you and I am glad to survive with you here. I really like it here. There is a calm atmosphere and only we are here with you. Despite the fact that we are pregnant, we are able to do many different things here. We have already developed so well that we can live here quietly and not complain about everything. We have food and water as well as many resources that help us survive here. So now I want to go to our garden and collect the whole harvest. Oh my God! We have grown all the wheat we have planted and now we have plenty of food for our animals. And we can also make a lot of bread for us and our future children. The main thing is to collect all this and do not forget to put back the seeds. Otherwise, we forget about it and cannot eat again. When we brought the pigs here, we noticed there was a chest under our house in the lake. Let's quickly see what was stored there so that we did not have time to collect. Oh my God. 
Here were all the initial resources that we needed so much. Here we have coal and several buckets of water and lava. And also, a little iron and pickaxe. It's very cool. It's too bad we didn't find it from the start. Now it's finally night! And we can sleep in peace! We have done a lot today, and we are likely to have our beloved children born after the night, which we are so looking forward to. We have the most comfortable environment that we have created specially for ourselves, and it is very cool. Now we will sleep quietly in our comfortable beds and wake up with new strength. Finally, we go to bed. I am so tired for today. I hope that tomorrow we will finally see our children and can rest and play with them in peace. It was the longest survival I've ever seen, and I'm happy that we got through it and built this house. And besides that, a vegetable garden and an animal pen. Now I'm just in the mood to get some sleep, and that's it. Let's have a quiet sleep without talking, but we are all so tired. I want to rest and finally have our children. The stove warms us perfectly, and we will not freeze tonight. And you cannot be afraid of evil mobs that are not even on this island. It's so cool living here. I'd stay here for the rest of my life, even with the kids. Oh my god, here comes the morning. Good morning to everyone. Wow, we have our children at last, and now we live here not in four, but in eight. It's very fun. It's good that our house is designed for so many people. They're so frolic together. They seem to enjoy spending time with each other from the first minutes of their lives. They're so cute. Wow, how cute all of them are. They're so much like us, as if they were a copy of us. My child is very like me. He even has a color like me. They have so much fun. I want to play with them more quickly. And yesterday we worked so hard that there was not enough time just to relax. It's good that we slept. And now we have a lot of energy to spend time with the kids. Pinkie Pie, you've clearly noticed that they look a lot like us. They seem to have enjoyed our activity yesterday, and they're just as keen and full of energy. It looks like we charged them pretty hard yesterday, and now they're not going to calm down. We need to show them their room, as well as build them a playground so they can put their energy. Yeah, right. We built a room for them all yesterday. Come on, let's show her, or they'll break something in our room. We certainly do not regret, but it would be better for them to play in their room. They have so many toys, as well as their own beds on which you can jump. Here is your room, our children. We tried very hard over it and think you will like it. They're so good at frolicking, they seem to like the beds we built for them the most. They're all so cute. I can't believe that while we had them in our belly, we built so much for them and for us. It turns out we did everything, not only by their work, but also by their work. Aha, Fluttershy! And you're right, we did more than just our work. In fact, we had as many as eight people who worked on everything on the island. One outside and one inside. How wonderful, ha ha. Let them still try the toys that we made for them because they only play on their beds. This is certainly cool, but better toys. They have so much energy. It looks like future helpers are growing with whom we will continue to build this island. That's really cool because four people is good and eight is better. Ha ha. Perhaps it is time to start building a platform for them, so let's go build on the street a few things on which they will be interested to play. We've done enough things so that the kids can play here. They'll have a whole slide, swings, and double swings for two. We will also make a basketball ring with a ball and, of course, a lot of toys to play with. Since we have girls, we will make them dolls and a stroller to play in the family. Finally, we have finished all our business. Everyone, Finally, they can play in their own playground. They have everything at their disposal, and a slide to ride, and swings, and even a ladder to develop your hands. In addition to all this, they have a large toy chest from which they can take any toy that is there. And no one's gonna take them away, because there's only four of them, and they're gonna share. They are so cool to play. Well, that we have built them a playground, I look forward to get to them and play with them. And yesterday we tried so hard yesterday, not even rested. Now today we can run with them and do nothing because we have all done. The main thing is not to forget about our animals and vegetable garden. 
This is the end of our survival series on the island. It turned out very cool because we have done so many things that will help us now on this island. If you also like this series, then go with your likes and write comments. Also, subscribe to our channel. Hello, everyone. Hi, dear subscribers. Today, we continue playing at Minecraft. And today, we're going to have a very interesting topic because we're going to have a race to drive. We will face trials, and those who will pass them completely will first and give birth. We have the task to give birth the fastest, then you will win. Hello! Oh my god! Do we really have such a task today? This is no survival even, but just a race to distill! I hope it's parkour, because I'm the best and fastest parkour ever. If you win in the parkour, then you need to think about the next trials, because I can easily fail them. Hello? Pinkie Pie, I bet you pass the parkour better than anyone. If there's parkour, I'll give you even a head start. These trials have to be super cool and complex. And if they're all simple, we're all going to do it at the same time. Because today, we will find out who is the fastest of us, including in childbirth. Hello, friend. Hello, subscribers. Wow, I kind of figured out the meaning of today's game in Minecraft. And now, you need to tune in to pass the tests. I must win or not take at least the last place. I wish you all good luck, and I suggest you already go to the first test to give an opinion on it. I hope it's not parkour. This parkour of course we caught today, it is very scary and most likely difficult. Here you need to grab a ladder and jump on the slide. And you also need to climb into the wall, which is very difficult. Twilight Sparkle has already started climbing, so I'll go after her. Pinkie Pie and Rainbow Dash, why don't you go? Afraid? No, I'm not afraid of anything. I'm going to go ahead of all of you and come to the finish line first. I told you at the start that I'm not afraid of park outs, but rather adore them and will go the fastest. Rainbow Dash, you have to give me a head start to get through this. Ah! Come on, I'm waiting for you not to be fair to you, and that I want. Here you go, Pinkie Pie. So I gave you a head start. Of course you went faster than me. But look how fast I'm going to pass this parkour. If we were to start at the same time, I would definitely win you. I always trained at parkour speed, so I am so simple and succeed. Pinkie Pie, I'll beat you one day and you won't win. Okay, girlfriends, let's not argue about another. Let's move on to the next test, because it is more important than all your arguments. Who will pass the parkour faster? Agree with me, then move on. The next challenge seems to be a maze. This is the place where I've never had any luck in my life. I constantly chose those roads that lead to a dead end and everything I just threw into it. I want to win today in this maze. Not even to get results, but to get out of it altogether because I have never passed it. At speed, I have never passed the maze. How is it possible? If you do not know exactly where you need to go, this is a random game because if you turn the wrong way, you're wasting your time. And this is not predictable. If only there will be clues to where you turn. I hope that there will be such. I prefer to turn left. I feel that there will be the exit that we are all looking for. There are small dead ends here, but for some reason, you can just walk in a straight line. Flutter with me so we can get out together. Then I need to overtake this Fluttershy quickly to get to the finish line first. I hope I succeed. So, Pinkie Pie and I are stuck in some dead ends. I hope we find a way out of here and not get stuck here, because I have possible claustrophobia, and I'm afraid of such tight spaces. I wish I could find a way out of this maze sooner, but I wish we had luck turning right. Pinkie Pie, don't get lost. Run for my voice. We'll get out. Hurrah! I defeated everyone, and especially Rainbow Dash, in this challenge. Hurrah! Once in a lifetime, I was lucky in a maze. So, I almost got out with Twilight Sparkle. Just need to run us a little bit over this maze. That's it! Finally, we got out of here. I am so glad! Let's move on to the next test right away. It's going to be a rather complicated and as randomized test that we have to perform. Everyone has a lot of leverage in their room. Your task will be to guess the lever that is responsible for the door through which you will need to exit to the next test. 
Now I'm just gonna try to get through this level in case I get something. Oh my god, I just bumped into different places in my room and opened a door I should have been looking for long enough. I'm shocked. Hurry up, my girlfriend's loved ones. So, now I will try to pass it I. I have a small tactic that I will definitely adhere to. It is that I will press the levers on the lines. I have these lines many and on one side, so it will not be difficult. Oh my god! So I found the lever I need so much! It's right outside! Hurrah! Okay, well, I'm upgrading Pinkie Pie's idea, and I'm gonna be running around like this, just faster and faster. I think it's a lot faster than Pinkie Pie's gonna do. Well, either I didn't get it... Oh, here I am. Cool. And I'll just poke in different places in case I'm lucky enough to find the lever I need. Oh, that's what happened. Very good. The next test will of course be the answers to questions that have not been for a long time. You just have to solve a mathematical example that's pretty simple. The first example was quite heavy, but I did manage. The second is easy, the third is still easy, and the fourth is not even counted. Of course I'm not good at math, but I'll try to solve it all. It's a pity that we became all invisible here, so as not to snoop the answers. You have to think for yourself, and it's quite difficult. Ha ha! This is a regular math test from school. What happened to you, Pony? Do you not remember how to multiply, divide, add, and subtract? Yes, Rainbow Dash. We have completely forgotten all the time spent in different games. You'd better give us a clue than ask us any more questions. I basically remember some things, so I'm going to go very well, and I'm going to have to take the last of this test. By the way, how do we know if we pass this test or not? Ha ha. And now we come to the final test in this series. Our task will be simply to give birth. Right now we have doctors waiting to deliver the baby. I'm in the lead for now, so I'll probably win this pony race. We'll see about that, Fluttershy. I'll do my best to win these races because I can't lose. Even if you have to be able to lose, I want to be able to win, and that's it! Here I am, the first to go out with the child. Hurrah, double hurrah. I now have a child, and I won these competitions. This is my first victory, and I am very glad that I participated with you here. How could I have shown myself well and managed to win? I do not believe my eyes. What a sweet baby I had, and already running and frolicking. Good thing I came not last. I took a whole second place in these competitions and gave birth to the second, of course. Too bad I didn't get first place, but I think I will next time. These competitions were just a workout before serious competitions. Hurrah! I won not the last place. It turns out that Rainbow Dash, which was the smartest and quickest lost in these competitions. Ha ha! I'm so glad I didn't take the last place. Here comes today's competition and today's series at the end. We really enjoyed participating in these competitions, especially when I won them. Now we all have a child and we can only deal with them. If you like the series, like and subscribe to the channel. I'll s Hello everyone. Hi dear subscribers. Today we continue to play a game called Minecraft. Today we will have a normal survival in which we will have the task of building a home as well as everything necessary for survival. We are also pregnant with you, and we need to safely give birth to children and give them comfortable living conditions. Hello, everyone! Wow! Very cool that we are back to the Minecraft again! This is my favorite game, and we are still pregnant! I already want to see my child, who will be my first! Also, we are all pregnant, so our children will have friends! I hope that they all become friends, just like we are with you! The main thing is to create comfortable conditions for their lives. Hello? At last we are playing Minecraft again and will finally be able to survive in the ordinary world. I have waited a long time for this. I want to build a big wheat farm as well as a big house that will have room for us and of course our children who are about to be born. Don't work too hard or you'll get sick. Hello? I'm so glad we're back together in this beautiful game. Besides that, pregnant women are just awful. Let's start digging up the resources for our survival, or we won't have time to face the evil mobs at night before we can build a house. It would be best to start construction now, so that then it is very slow. Well, first things first, 
Of course, we're going to get some wood as usual. Wood is a vital resource that we need to make it into different tools or structures. Now we need it first of all for the construction of our house. And in the future, we will need only for crafts and fuel in the furnace. And I've already made myself a wooden pickaxe that I'm going to use to mine a rock in a cave. We need it because it is made primarily of stone tools, which are much easier to dig than wood, and also be sure to make a stone stove, thanks to which we will fry food as well as make glass. I will now extract the sand from which we will make glass. It is made extremely simple. We just need a stove and fuel in the oven. And of course the sand I'm mining. To do this, you just melt the sand in the oven and you get glass that can be used to craft bottles or to insert it into the window frames. So, I will have one of the simple tasks for now. I now need to run in the fields and collect grass. Wheat seedlings usually fall out of it, so I collect them. We need them for the future garden, which we will soon do. We need it to provide us with food on a permanent basis, as well as our future children. We're about to start building our house. It should be necessarily big, because we will soon be not four people, and as much as eight. I will now deal with the basis of the house, and Pinkie Pie will help me with the construction. I need to build pillars and put wood together. It turns out we already have a fairly large size of the house. I hope that it will remain so and not become smaller. So I am acting as Fluttershy's assistant. My task will be to make the connections only from above and not from below as Fluttershy did. And I'll also have to make the whole ceiling, which is big enough. I hope I have enough blocks to make it or it'll be bad if I have to go out and get wood again without building a house. It'll be very slow. Okay, well, I'm about to do something equally important. My task now is to break the whole stone floor that we have in the house, and Twilight Sparkle will help me put the wooden floor so that we had a beautiful house. And of course, the warmth. After all, a tree is much warmer than cold stone. I hope we're sure to get this house done by tonight, or it'll be bad if we sleep outdoors. So, Rainbow Dash did everything very quickly, and I am very grateful to her. Now, I have just put more birch boards and ready to build a floor. We have a very big house, and we are almost finished building it. We still have to think about where our future children will sleep. Most likely, we will build for them a separate room or even a floor so that they were comfortable to play, and we are comfortable to rest. Okay, now I'm gonna do the next thing that's required in our house. We need to make window frames in the house so we can insert windows, because we don't have much glass. So we need to make not very large windows, so we have enough glass for a lot. In principle, everything is working well with us, and glass even very well suited to our house. While Fluttershy makes the window frames, I'm already putting glass in our house. While they were building the house, I had already melted down all the sand that we got. And now I can safely insert the windows. It is good that I have done everything in advance and we would not have to wait now when all melted down. How good we are, especially me. Ha <laughs> ha. So, I am now finishing the last part of our house. It will be, of course, the interior interior, which is so missing. I went to get resources and made us four beds, as well as some ovens and chests. And of course, we must have at least a couple of workbenches on which we can do anything. Okay, well, now we're going to move immediately to the river to make a beautiful vegetable garden. We make a vegetable garden in the river to avoid carrying water in buckets, which we do not have yet. After all, the garden must be watered, and if there is no water near the garden, they will not work and the harvest will not be. And the river is growing very fast, so we will plant here. So of course, I will help Twilight Sparkle with the garden so that it all worked out faster and we got to the night. While Twilight Sparkle builds the beds, I will plow them and then plant wheat seeds. We're going to have a very big garden, apparently, but nothing. I've harvested a lot of wheat seeds and we should have enough for a very long time because it's going to fall more and more. 
So, friends, we have already built a whole house for all of us, as well as a whole garden on which grows wheat. Now we have a long supply of food that we can constantly replenish with something else if we find it. What will we do next, friends? Do you have any ideas about this and do you like to survive at all? I really like surviving here, despite the fact that we are all pregnant and we are a little hard, I still very well and I am ready to continue to do anything. I have no ideas yet to do more on this survival. As for me, we already have everything for a comfortable life, namely a wheat garden and a big comfortable house. I love everything here, from the fact that we just survive in the open world to the fact that we are pregnant and we will soon have children. I am very happy and ready to try completely for them. I suggest that we all make a beautiful second floor where they will have plenty of toys in their beds. It would be a reasonable idea because there is a lot of space, but not for eight people, so they need their floor. So guys, it's certainly all very well that we like very much here, but soon it will be night and we still did nothing for our children. I suggest we immediately start building a second floor for them, arrange it, and then with a calm soul, go to bed. And tomorrow is likely to be the birth of children who are very important to us all. Now we've made the stairs, and now we have to make a way to the second floor, to which we will climb these stairs. It is very compact and does not take up much space, so we chose it. Now I will build as usual the basis only no longer of the house, but only of the second floor. You also need to build posts and then connect them. Pinkie Pie will help me with this as usual. My job will be to connect the bottom layer of the wall between the pillars that Fluttershy built and I'll need to make a ceiling. The second floor is much easier to build than the first because there is no need to break the floor and build a new. And you need to make only a base without a floor. Just here is already made the marking of the house and do not need to think to where to do a particular part of the house. My job now is to make window frames and insert windows into them. The second floor is done quite quickly than the first floor. It seems really much easier. Or it's because we're trying for the kids and we're having fun. Ha ha! Of course, we cannot know anything. Most likely, we just accelerated very much and it is good! Okay, well, I'm going to do a little interior on this floor. The child in our house will be four people. So you need to put four beds and next to them one chest for each child. This will be a very profitable solution because they will not throw all the garbage into a common chest and will use only your own. Okay, I'm gonna do the most important things in our kids' room. They're going to be toys that we made for them. This will, of course, be a developing Rubik's Cube, a lot of plush toys that turned out very beautiful. Darts and checkers for development in sports, as well as xylophone for those who like music more than play. So friends, we have worked very hard for today and I think it's time to go to the next day because we have done all our business for today and soon it will be night. We are all very tired and we need a well-deserved rest. I hope that tomorrow our children will appear and we will only have to make a playground for them. This day turned out to be very rich and we really tried very hard for our body. Because when we built all this, we were not alone, but together with our children who are still in our bellies. If it weren't for that, we would have done a lot more things than that. But with the fact that we are pregnant, we did a lot. My friends, we are very good. Being pregnant, not everyone can build such a large two-story house. And we also have our own food source in the form of a vegetable garden, which is going to ripen tomorrow It's super. Tomorrow we are waiting for our children and we need to show them our room as well as build a playground with many things that we have prepared. Pony, let's go to sleep soon. Your all conversations are already sleepy. We are very tired today and you do not want to sleep. Let's go to bed and meet the children who will be born in the morning and will probably be waiting for us to wake up. I wish you all good night and I hope that no evil monsters will enter our home. Oh my God, good morning to all. That's why our children were born. They are so much like us, as if they were just a copy of us, only reduced. 
In fact, it should be, but not as much. It's very cool. It looks like future girlfriends are growing up just like us. Soon, they will help us all, and we will play with them and help them as well. They're all so cute! So much fun jumping! Looks like they have so much energy after yesterday. We can assume that we loaded them that they were born so energetic. Now it's just like they're gonna wake up and start doing all the things we haven't done. I really want to build a playground and I hope there's nothing stopping us from doing it. They are so small and can get lost. Let's agree that we will keep an eye on them and constantly watch them. Don't forget to close the front door because they can run out and get lost in the infinite world of Minecraft and we will never find them. Be very careful and don't forget your children. Let's have less talk and more action. Yes, they are very beautiful born with us and this is exactly the copy of the four of us. Just a small version that is very heavily charged and never tires. It's all just like us. Let's quickly show them our room which we have been building for so long. I want to see their reaction. They're so cool to play around. If I was so little right now, I would run and play all the toys and jump on the bed. It's so interesting. You can think of it as a carefree life where you do nothing and you have your parents who are responsible for you. It's good to depend on someone, not go with the flow. Really, Fluttershy. I want to run with them very much, but I'm afraid that we are already too big and we will just destroy all their toys and the whole house. Too bad, but now we have children to care for and watch them have fun together. I hope they've already become friends and admitted it. Yet we have built a very beautiful room for our children. They are very suited to the red beds that they like the most and they almost do not want to get off them when they climb. They also love the toy chest and the other toys that are all over the room. Yet we made them for a reason and they like to play with them. Girls, what beautiful children we have. I just decided to look at them and saw in them a piece of us. They are as energetic and like to learn a lot of new things. Everything is just like about us. Ladies and gentlemen, I suggest we go out there and build a playground for them on the street so they can release all their energy on the street, not in the house. So, not for nothing, we prepared a lot of cool things to make a playground right outside the house. For her, we have prepared, of course, a swing and a slide. In addition, we have a double swing on which you can swing together. And from the entertainment, we have a ladder on which they can develop their hands. In addition, we have a lot of different toys and even a box with them. Sure, we made a lot of dolls and a stroller so they could play in the family. A few moments later... Oh my god! Girlfriends! I decided to look out the window as our children play and saw just something. Huge and terrible tsunami is coming at us. Guys, we need to figure out what to do with him right now. After all, we have only just built everything for the comfortable life of our children. And of course, us and now, this tsunami will just take all our efforts. All right, we'll miss this as long as we survive. Let's get away from him! Or we'll definitely stay in this house and never get out of here again! Even if we survive this wave, we won't be able to breathe because all the oxygen will be gone! We need to think fast and get out of here as long as we bring the kids! A few moments later... Let's get out of this house quickly! Swim quickly with the children behind me to definitely stay alive! After we get out of the water, you will need to urgently put a boat and swim to the nearest mountain, if there is one, to stop there. It will be our point of salvation. Under the water is so dark, Pony. Hope you do not get lost there. So we found some little island that we're going to be staying on because we have completely lost everything that we've done in all the time we've spent in this series. I hope we can settle down again and our children won't starve too much. Hello, everyone. Hi, dear subscribers. Today we will play a game called Minecraft. But tonight we're going to have a very unusual episode because we're going to survive on the same chunk being pregnant. I think this is a very cool topic and we will cope with the tasks. The main thing is that we create comfortable conditions for our future children. 
Hello! Oh, how cool it is that we are back with you again in Minecraft! I really like this game, and like very much to survive it! Today, although we will be pregnant, we still have to survive in this world of Minecraft! We also have a challenging task in that we will survive on just one goal with few resources to survive! Hello, subscribers! Hello, friends! Cool that we will survive on one goal today! Although there are quite few resources, but we will save them very well and will definitely live here for several days. Just here it is quite easy to make comfortable conditions for children. The main thing is not to let them to the edge of the world. I hope that we will succeed. Hello! It is very cool that we all like to survive in the world of Minecraft. But I suggest we already start extracting our first resources. Because if we don't get them now, we're going to have to deal with them at night when the evil mobs may appear. We have a lot of places at our disposal. For example, a small forest of three trees, as well as several places with water. So first of all, let's go get a tree. This is the first and most important goal that we urgently need to accomplish. Thank God there are enough trees on the island, and we will immediately pick up a lot of wood, from which we will build a large house. We will also need wood to craft tools and fuel in the oven. Well, I guess I'll be doing sand mining now. We really need sand, because from it we will make glass, which we will insert into the window frames, and we will have very beautiful windows in our house. And they make bottles out of glass that we can store water in. It's a good thing we have enough sand here on just one goal. OK, well, I'm going to dig in the ground now. Ha ha ha. In fact, I need to dig a little cave right now where we're going to mine a vital rock. We will make of it, of course, stone tools. And also, very much, we will need a rock in order to make stoves in the house. They'll heat our house and we'll melt things and cook food in them. And now I'm going to be harvesting wheat seeds from all the vegetation that's in that vat. We've got plenty of grass here because we've got a good biome on the Chan. There's also some pretty flowers that I'm going to be picking up and maybe put in a pot in the house. Also, because I'm cleaning up all the growths, I'm clearing a place for our future home. Now we are already starting construction of our house. To begin with, we need to build the very foundation of the house that I will be doing. And Pinkie Pie will help me. Now I've marked the size of our house, and it will be big enough and with the passage to the cave. Because soon we will have not only four people, but as many as eight. Because we will all have children. OK, I'm helping Fluttershy build the base of the house. I need to connect the top beams and build, of course, a ceiling that will save us from rain and other bad weather. We should also build a wooden floor, but I won't do that anymore because we have to share responsibilities equally. We're really good at this. Okay, now I'm going to dig up the land that was our floor. Instead of this whole earth, we will put wooden boards that are very warm and pleasant feet. It's not as cool walking on the ground as it is in a house with wood floors. It is good that we have wooden tools. Thanks to them, we dig very quickly, and we have time to do everything before nightfall. OK, now I've melted down all the sand in the stove, and I can start building window frames, and then we'll put the windows in. We are already having a wonderful home in which we will be comfortable to live as well as our children will feel comfortable and will exactly live with us in this survival on one goal. Now we are making the final part of the construction of our house. We have finally made a beautiful home for our life on just one chunk. Now we will make a beautiful interior in our house. Or rather, we will place four beds on which we will sleep as well as the necessary things for our survival. It will be four stoves in which we will melt everything, as well as chests with workbenches. So guys, we've finished building our house, and we've also accumulated a lot of resources to continue our survival. With them, we'll be doing some cool stuff for our kids that's about to be born. I hope that this will happen after we wake up tomorrow. And now it is a quiet night, and we are all very tired. Let's go to sleep. Finally, we go to bed! Being pregnant, I am very tired of building a house and getting resources. It's kind of hard when you have your baby in you and you're a lot heavier than normal. It is very unusual when we do. The work turns out not at four, but at eight. We and our future children are great good people that helped each other build this house and now we can live in it. Tomorrow, if we're gonna have kids, we should definitely build a playground where they can play fun. The main thing is to make everything extremely safe because there is a 
very small world and they can just fall out of it. It is necessary in the future to make a fence of this chunk so that no one can fall out of it ever. And now we have to follow them. Let's talk less and go to bed. I just want to get some sleep on this hard day we've had today because it's our last day of pregnancy. Tomorrow we will be able to see our children and can play with them. It is very cool. Let's go to sleep already. Oh my God. Good morning to all. That's why our children were born. They are so much like us, as if they were just a copy of us, only reduced. In fact, it should be, but not as much. It's very cool. It looks like future girlfriends are growing up just like us. Soon, they will help us all, and we will play with them and help them as well. They're all so cute! So much fun jumping! Looks like they have so much energy after yesterday. We can assume that we loaded them that they were born so energetic. Now it's just like they're gonna wake up and start doing all the things we haven't done. I really want to build a playground and I hope there's nothing stopping us from doing it. They are so small and can get lost. Let's agree that we will keep an eye on them and constantly watch them. Don't forget to close the front door because they can run out and get lost in the infinite world of Minecraft and we will never find them. Be very careful and don't forget your children. Let us quickly build our beautiful playground on our territory the size of a chunk. We will have a lot of entertainment for children that we have prepared especially for them. They will have first of all large swings on which they can swing. But the main thing is to watch them not to lift too much. Also, at their disposal will be a large slide, double swing, as well as many different stuffed toys. Since they are all girls, we have prepared a stroller for them to play with the family. Everyone, now they have a wonderful personal playground on which they will not be disturbed to play other children who simply cannot be here. They seem to like her very much and we did our best for them. Hopefully in the next episode we'll make a separate floor for them to sleep on, as well as play with different toys when the weather is bad. At this point, we will end our series! In this series, we did a very good job because we were able to settle down on one Golka and build even a big house. We were also pregnant from the beginning and were able to have children who will now live with us and play on the playground. If you like this video, like it and subscribe. Hello! Today we continue to play a game called Minecraft. And today we in the series will have an unusual test for us. We're pregnant right now and we're expecting a baby tomorrow. And we are only on a few blocks and there is nothing around us at all. We are in a void. We have to think about what to do here. Hello, dear followers. Hello, friends. Yes, it's very cool that we are back to Minecraft. And also, we got to my favorite island where it's like we were already there. This block in the middle is an unusual block. When you break it, all sorts of resources fall out of it other than land. So it is possible to survive on this block because all vital resources fall out. Too bad you and I are pregnant together because we can't be nervous. And being at this altitude, I am already beginning to quietly get nervous because it is very scary here. But nothing, I will try not to look down. You and I are gonna have to get a lot of blocks out of here and build a platform on which to build a big house. It will be a very important condition for us today. Hello! We need such an emergency only because we are about to have children. They're very nice, and we don't want to offend them by not being comfortable. So we should definitely try on the house, as well as on the place of all time, that is, games. We should probably make a lot of toys for them so they don't get bored. Now we are all together starting to extract resources from this single block. There's going to be a lot of different resources here. And for the extraction to go as fast as possible, we need to team up and dig together. This will happen faster and faster and we will make in a short period of time a large amount of resources, which are very much needed now. I really hope that this block never ends because if it does, we won't be able to survive here anymore because of lack of resources. But so far, everything is going very well because we fall various chests with tools as well as building blocks and a lot of land. It's all very fun and I like to survive on one block. It's very exciting. Okay, let's, let's dig faster and faster and not get distracted. 
If you get tired, say so, or we don't have to work so hard. If we really make today a comfortable home for us and our future children, then we will try very well and can continue to live on this island with an unusual one block. Here we are with you have moved to the next level, where you will find various blocks from the caves, such as a rock or stone, and there will be a lot of ore that would be difficult to find in this place. Ha ha! Well, you couldn't have found it at all. Now let's dig a little bit more into this block. Go to the next level, and let's go quickly to make the platform where we live. Now I'm gonna start building our platform, and then someone's gonna help me. I'm going to make it small and not very big because we don't have as many resources as it looks. The most important thing is that this platform will fit our cabin as well as the area lying next to it. It would be really cool if we had endless land. All right, well, I'll help Fluttershy build the platform right now, of course. While she's building the base, I'm going to fill it with earth. And when she's done making the base, I'm going to fill the whole rectangle with earth she's going to make. This is a very coordinated work. And most importantly, done with the soul. Despite the fact that we are pregnant, we still go to such risks and fears. Well, I'm going to start building our house, where we're going to live. We'll have it one story, but it's quite tall, so we can fit in, of course. And our future children, who are still in our bellies. I am now making the basis of the house, and Twilight Sparkle will help me, because alone, I will not do this task. It was very difficult to get things from this unit of the same color. So we will have a house a little of colorful wood. On the one hand, it looks very beautiful, and I like it. But on the other hand, it looks neither aesthetically nor monochromatic as it should be. Everyone has their own taste. The main thing is that we are not building a house for the view and in order to live comfortably in it. The next thing in our house, we will of course arrange the floor. The floor should be made of wood, not from the ground. After all, it is cool to walk on the ground barefoot, but not as well as wood. With wood flooring, we will always feel good and we will be warm enough, even at such a high altitude at which we are. So, I am now doing an equally important task in our house. While everyone here was building the foundations of our house, I was extracting resources from an unusual block. There was a lot of sand, so I made a stove and melted the sand into glass. Now I'm making window frames in our house and putting in glass to make windows. It turns out very beautiful. Too bad there's no view from our house. Okay. Now I'm going to start the final part of building our beautiful house right on the platform in the void. It will certainly be a beautiful interior of our room. I have got a lot of interesting resources and made these things especially for us all. We share the responsibilities. Now we have four beds, two small chests, two stoves, and a whole two workbench. I hope this is enough. Let's talk less and go to bed. I just want to get some sleep on this hard day we've had today, because it's our last day of pregnancy. Tomorrow, we will be able to see our children and can play with them. It is very cool. Let's go to sleep already. Good morning, Pony. Oh my god. Here we have our beloved children, whom we have waited so long. They are so cute, and can't we have given birth in the air on an island where there is only one block? I think that will fall into some record. Ha ha! Very cool that we managed to have children, and now we will all survive together on this platform, which in the future will increase. Man, they're so cute! I'd rather go and play with them! They were born so energetic! How can they play all day and not get tired? Yesterday we were very tired, because we were the first with extra weight, and the second was very scary, and we were in a hurry, and very exhausted. I just want to lie on the bed all day, but I can't do it. Okay, now I suggest we all go outside and make a playground for the kids, where they play really cool, and so do we. The main thing is not to take your eyes off children, because they can just go to the edge and fly off this platform. I hope it never happens to anyone's child. You! All right, let's get down to building the playground. We have accumulated many resources and made some things that children need very much. It will be, first of all, a swing. 
which is very much loved to ride children, as well as a slide, which is no less popular than a swing. Then it goes on the little things. It will be a double swing, a ladder, and a lot of plush toys. I hope they have enough for a while, as long as they don't fall. This is it, girls. We were able to fulfill the first task that fate gave us, and it is to create comfortable conditions for ourselves to survive on one block. It was pretty hard, but we did very well and built a big house for us and our children who were born just today. I really enjoyed surviving on one block pregnant. And so came to the end of this series on the wonderful game Minecraft. We did a lot today and we really enjoyed surviving on the same block with the kids. If you like this episode too, like and subscribe to our channel. And also write your opinion in the comments. We will try to read them in full. Until... Hello. Today we continue playing Minecraft and now we are in the cage of the most experienced hunter in this game. We're very scared and we're pregnant and we have no idea what we're gonna do. He looks really creepy and I think if we try to escape, he'll catch us 100% and put us back in this cage only to stare. Oh my God! Hello to everyone! It's so terrible that we fell into the hands of some hunter! It's really creepy in this cave, and we need to get out of here, or we're not gonna make it out of here without food or water. And we are pregnant, and we will die not at four, but at eight. It is very terrible, and so we will probably find ways out of here to save ourselves and our children. Hello, hello friends. How can we so easily surrender to this hunter in captivity and not get out of here? We are still a pony, and we are capable of anything, even if we are pregnant. Despite the risk, we still have to try to get out of here. There's only so many ways we can figure out if this hunter is ever distracted and if he's going anywhere to give us time to escape. Hi, it's very awful that we got here and I think I know about how to get us out of here. Sometimes this hunter gets distracted by his furnace and we have time to break this fence that closes our cage. Only for this, we will have to dig all together to quickly break it because it is stone. Oh, I wish none of us have a pickaxe. It seems I have a plan. I found an iron pickaxe here in his cage and now we can easily get out of here. The main thing is to wait until he is distracted by his furnace and quietly break the blocks and run out. Here he has easy protection, so escape from here is quite easy if there is of course a pickaxe. We are very lucky. Well, thank God we got away from him. But now we're gonna be missing soon and that hunter's gonna come after us. We will have to develop very well and of course hide from it. It's going to be difficult, but we're going to try to do it because our lives are at stake and so are the lives of our children who are about to be born. We need to get as far away from this hunter's base as possible because we first need to extract initial resources and, of course, find a place where we hide from him. If we just wander through the woods, he will definitely find us and catch us again. So you need to be very careful and think about your actions. Girlfriends, you are brilliant. We are great and we have already escaped from this hunter. I know he's gonna come looking for us when he does, but I feel like we're gonna make it and we're gonna get away from this hunter. Still, we'll have to have babies and protect them from him, so you have to be careful. All right, let's get down to Timber. We have run far enough and we need to urgently extract the whole tree because the more it will be, the easier it will be later. We have a lot of time, but it is also not infinite. So you need to take everything from him and get all the wood in a moment, then then run from the hunter and in parallel to extract a tree. All right. Well, I'm gonna be mining a rock with the iron pickaxe I found in the hunter's cage. The boulder will be very useful to us because in the first place, this block can be used to protect from the hunter. The second with it, we make tools that will help to fight off the hunter. And the third, we will make an oven where we melt down food for us and our future children. Okay, well I'm helping Pinkie Pie with the tree cutting because the more hands involved, the more wood we have. As they say, there's not much wood and we need as much as possible. With it, we can spare the workbenches we need to chase and we can make arrows and bows to fight off the hunter. Oh my God, girlfriends, that hunter came for us. How did he find us so quickly? 
rather run away from him as hard as possible so that he could not catch us. He runs very fast, but we are a pony. We will definitely be faster than him. What does he even want from us? He is so scary. Ran to the nearest village to quickly hide from him there. So we found some village near us, and we need to run into it and look inside it. After all, there may be in the first place resources that we will need in order to escape from the hunter, and you can also find a place where we will initially hide from the hunter. There's a house on the mountain. Maybe we can hide in it and somehow climb. Here you can immediately notice that there is a small vegetable garden which has already grown some crops which we can borrow from the inhabitants so that we have enough food in addition to the one that we fry. You also need to find a way to this mountain to see if you can really get there and there is a big house. That would be the perfect place to hide from a hunter. Now I will try to look from the other side whether you can somehow climb this mountain. It is quite large and it will be difficult to climb it. But the hunter will not be able to get us for a long time and will have to climb it for a long time. This just buys us time for us to escape from it. It'll be good if we can get up there and keep an eye on the hunter. So, Rainbow Dash, since you have found the entrance to this big mountain, now we will all move to you so that we take a cabin and live in peace. I think that there will be no residents because it is very difficult to get even us, not just the residents. I basically remember what the whole village looks like. And if we can escape, I'll show the way. So we take the house, and we finally have the kids we've been waiting for. Now we have an automatically complicated task, because we need, in addition to ourselves, we need to save our children from the hands of this hunter. After all, he won't even define it or not, and just grab us all with the children and put us back in the cage. And it will be very scary. Oh, how cute they are! I can't believe there's a hunter after them now. It sounds very scary, and I want to protect our children from this enemy. I'm even willing to give myself to him, but for him not to touch our children. But it would be better if we all stayed together and he could not take anyone because we will hide well. Girlfriends, he's on his way. I see him running away. We have to get out of here now because anyway, he saw me. I saw him. It's an easy task for him, so we can't stay here long and run. I suggest we run to some cave, which is behind this village. While he runs here, he will lose his trail, and we will stay in the cave. I know there's a big canyon nearby where we can fall very quickly and not crash, and where we can hide from the hunter. How does he find us again in this world? It's just incredible how experienced he is. This is where we jump in the water and run around the canyon and look for the best place we can survive looking for him. Ah! We finally got here and found a fun place where we can now live while the hunter is looking for us. I don't think we'll know if he's looking for us soon, but it's best not to leave this cave until a few days have passed. We have enough resources and enough food to feed our children. It was very scary when we ran away from him in his lair. But now we are hiding from him, and he probably will not find us. I feel like we're going to get away from him, and now he's never going to find us. Only then we have to run away from this place, just in case he doesn't find us. The most important thing is that all our children are alive and we can safely survive on. This happy moment is the end of our Minecraft series. It was very exciting when we ran away from this hunter, and everything was exciting and scary. If you like this series, like and subscribe to our channel. And also, write your opinion in the comments. We will try to read everything. See you soon. Hello, friend. Hello, followers. Today we will play a game called Minecraft. Our task today will be to play hide and seek together because we have not played in them for a long time. Today we will be in an interesting location, namely in the desert. Also, we are all pregnant today and it seems today we will have children. That's pretty cool. What do you think? Hello everyone. Wow, this is very interesting that we will be playing hide and seek today. I am very good at hiding, and I am definitely here no one will ever find. And there's a lot of sand, and I'll blend in a little. Of 
course I'm not like Fluttershy, who looks more like a sandy color. But I'll still make sure you can't find me. Hello, everyone! Hi, subscribers! We're really going to play Minecraft. Hurrah! This is my favorite game. And I also love to play hide-and-seek. And I'm definitely going to hide in this episode, because I like hiding more than looking. Because when you hide, you have to think of a place where you're definitely not found. And you just have to go to different places and look for everyone. Hello, everyone. And I like to look in hiding because it is very interesting. It all depends on you, who will win in this game. Someone is competing to see who's better off hiding, and I have no one to compete with. And my job is just to find everyone. I think it will be very interesting because I am very well looking for everyone and have already studied the whole village. Well, we start hiding right away. I will try to look at all the places that are here and choose from them the best because there are a lot of them and you need to hide very well so that I did not find Twilight Sparkle. There are many interesting houses here, but for some reason, I am attracted to the house where there is a lot of space. Twilight will think that it is too big to hide. Well, I still have to figure out where to hide. There are a lot of different houses, but it is better to choose the one that is far from the start. Because until Twilight comes, she will find everyone, and then only me. I hope that I will win in these hide and seek and confirm that I am the best at hide and seek. I will choose this forge is probably very cozy. Well, I have a tactic that nobody knows. To hide well, you need to think like a search engine. He'll probably make a quick run through the first cabins and never get a good look at them. As soon as he reaches the end, he will start looking from the end. So I want to hide in the nearest to the start of the cabin. I will choose this one. Jeez, I hope they hid pretty easily and I can find them in no time. Also, we should have children soon. It looks like they will disturb them during hiding and show their presence to the place where they hide. Okay, well, I can't assume anything. It's better to wait for the hide to start. So, here we begin to look for my friends. I think, where do I go for the first time? Hope that I will now find someone. Stop, what is it? Oh my God, Rainbow Dash has a baby. You need to hurry to his side to see where he came from. It's probably where the Rainbow Dash is hidden, ha <laughs> ha. How easy it was to find you, Rainbow Dash. It was your baby that caught you. Oh my God, it seems good that I had a child but it would have been better if he had been born a little later. Just chose this place and I immediately found. I was hoping you wouldn't come here, but my kid ran out of the house and let you find me. It's a shame, but I had my first child. Ha ha. I run quickly to look for the others. And I really hope that they hid very simply and it will be easy to find them. Stop, what is it again? Did Pinkie Pie also have a child? And just like with Rainbow Dash, Child showed himself the place where Pinkie Pie hides. It's just as impossible as it can be. Now I know that Pinkie Pie hid in the forge. Oh my God! I wish the child had shown you where I was hiding. I hope not the first one you found because it would be so stupid to lose. I just couldn't keep my baby and he ran off into the street. That's probably where you saw him. Man, if the baby had been born sooner or later, it would have been better and I wouldn't have been found. All right, let's keep looking for everyone. We have the only Fluttershy left, which turns out to be very well hidden. But now I will find her too, with ease, because she is alone. Oh my God, just before my nose jumped the child, Fluttershy, ha ha ha. How cool it is that babies are born so alternately. And thanks to them, I find places where my friends hide. I held my child to the last. He literally slipped out of my hands. He was born a long time ago, but he really wanted to run out into the street. I'm really unlucky that you ran right in front of the house where I'm hiding. Looks like all the kids let their parents down today and they found them because of them. But it's no big deal. But now we have kids that we love. So I finally had a child. Now all the children are here and we can send them to hide and we will look for them. Of course they did well to get out of your hiding places because they are the only reason I found you. Ha ha! Did you enjoy the fun with your kids or are you sorry I found you quickly? 
Geez, the kids are so cute here. So much like us. They're so friendly and energetic. And also like to make fun, which we appreciated very well. I've spent so much time looking for a place to hide, and this is where I so easily showed my place to my child, who I'm not even mad at. I thought it was funny, and the main thing is, I wasn't the first one found. But I was found the first time, because I had a child first. The main thing is that Twilight Sparkle gave birth to a child long after everyone was found. Namely, I have under all the hide and seek. This is very funny, but it's just as sad that I was found first. I had my own tactics to not be found exactly first, but it did not work. Ah, well, I won turns out to be in these hide and seek. We had a competition, not who better hide and who later will give birth. Ha ha. I mean, I had my baby last night and I was holding my baby so it wouldn't run away, but I couldn't do anything about it and he ran off and showed me where I was hiding. I really liked how Twilight Sparkle played the role of search engine. Now our children are starting to play hide and seek. Now they will all hide and we will look for them. They're going to be a lot harder to find and it's going to be a lot longer. So we're not gonna look for them in this series. We're just gonna see how they hide. And if you wanna see us playing hide and seek with children, then write in the comments. How cool of course they run. It looks so cute and I like it. It's a pity that they are not disturbed as they are in hiding. But we are now looking at where they will hide and we will be able to find them. We are standing here to know where our children are and not to lose them. Yet they are very dear to us, despite all the trouble they have brought us. I want to go and look for them because I wonder how well they will hide. My friends have a talent in hide and seek and I have almost no. So I wonder how my child will hide and how my friend's children will hide. Still, I was a search engine and I can't compare myself to my friends. At least that's how I look at myself because my kid looks just like me. Okay, well, now comes the end of our series. Our children have hidden and we will now go find them. And you, dear subscribers, leave comments under the video if you want to see part of the Hide with Children. Just like and subscribe to our channel. See you soon. Hello, friend. Hello, dear followers. Today we continue to play the beautiful game Minecraft. Tonight we're going to have an unusual episode because we're going to have survival in the open ocean on a single raft. In addition, we are also pregnant. So today we must create comfortable conditions for our children on this raft. Hello, everyone! Oh my god! We are again in this game! I really enjoy spending time with you here, and I am ready in it for anything. Even though we are pregnant, we can still manage to create a comfortable environment, because we are ponies and we are capable of anything. Only I have an important question. How are we going to create something if we have an ocean? Hello, everyone! It will be a hard task, but we must try well. There is a small feature. The ocean is constantly swimming in addition to fish and important resources such as wood or rock. So our first task will be, of course, to make fishing rods, thanks to which we will catch all the resources. It is quite easy. Who cannot? I will teach, of course, fishing. Hello, everyone. On our little raft, there is some chest, which is the only one here. Maybe there's some initial resources or a map of some treasure. I personally am very interested in what lies there and let's quickly open it and see what is there. And I also want to quickly and quickly start fishing. So let's have a look at what's in it. I'm just as curious. Oh my God, there are four rods for all of us. It seems that we will have no problems on this raft and we will be able to get some resources that will be very useful for us to create comfortable conditions for our children. Let's go fishing soon, because it's gonna be night and the sharks will wake up and they'll hurt us in our raft. Yay, I'm so glad we're gonna make it and someone left us four rods to survive. I want to start fishing more quickly because I have been fishing a long time and I really liked it. Only I've always caught fish but I've never had to catch any of the important resources. So I want to try. Okay, now I'm going to throw the first rod and wait for the first catch. Fishing is a waiting process when the fish swallow. After all, if you make loud noise while fishing or have fun, 
The fish will be frightened and it will be impossible to catch. It is good that we are very calm and know everything about fishing. Meanwhile, I caught the puffer fish. You! Now it's my turn to fish. I've never fished before and only now have I been told how to fish correctly. It will be an easy task because I am very calm and will not frighten all the fish in the ocean. My dream now will be to catch a big fish that will be tall with me and will be very tasty. The shark certainly will not catch on such a rod. The first fish I caught was raw snapper. We have caught enough important resources and I have already made a workbench and several ovens for our survival. This will be very useful for us because in the oven we will fry fish so that we have something to eat and on the workbench we can do anything from all that we have caught. And we have caught a lot and very soon we will be able to build our first house on a raft. Okay, well, I caught a lot of wheat seeds and now I'm going to make a beautiful vegetable garden where we're going to grow wheat that we can use to craft bread. It is very nutritious and with the fish we'll be very well fed by it. It is good that we have, in addition to the raft itself, a lot of place where you can place the beds. It's also a good thing we have a workbench where I scrub the hole. But I have caught us an eternal source of wood, namely the sapling of oak, from which we will make a big tree. To make a tree really high, you need to make it a little further away from the raft, and then we will have a lot of wood and a lot of leaves, from which more seedlings will fall. I'm really enjoying my time here, and I'm glad we're starting to make it. A few moments later... It's time to build our house! It has been a long time, and we have grown several times, and we have accumulated many resources for construction. We're going to build it right up to our raft, so we don't run too far. It will be big enough that we have plenty of space for the life and life of our children. In it, we will sleep and escape from the natural phenomena. Well, I'll be helping Fluttershy build our lovely house. We have plenty of resources, so we may even finish the construction of our house soon, but it will not be soon. My task will be to build the foundation of the house, as well as the ceiling, so that we already have a roof over our heads. And then later, we'll just have to do the interior and insert the windows. Well, I'll show you how we collect wood from our tree, which turned out to be very big. It's pretty heavy, so we had to stock up on some extra blocks that we could get to those logs we can't reach. And so, we have a lot of logs even without extra blocks, and it is very cool. The main thing is not to lose the saplings of oak. Well, now that we've finally grown a wheat garden, my job now is to collect all the wheat and plant it back. We have a very convenient location of the garden because we can come from any side and collect it. And then we have a lot of water around and it's very convenient when you don't need to water anything and the ocean automatically waters our garden. Okay, now I'm almost done building our house. After all, we have the only task left is to insert window frames and after them and other windows, as well as to make a beautiful interior. I'm doing window frames now for whoever's putting in the windows, and Pinkie Pie is helping me do the interior. We already have our wonderful house being transformed. Now we can finally finish our lovely little house and get ready for the birth of our children. Now I just need to insert the windows and finish the interior of our house by making beds for each participant of this survival. Children will sleep with their parents for the first time, but later we will solve this problem and they will have their own beds and toys. Okay, guys, it's gonna be night soon, and it's time for us to go to bed. Tomorrow, we will have our beautiful children, who we will have to look after, and most importantly, we have made all the most convenient conditions for their lives and ours. And now, we will have no problem with any resources on this raft. This is very wonderful, and I am very glad that we did it. I can't wait to see my baby and all of you! I hope that they will really like it here and will very much like their friends who will be with them from birth until the end of their lives! I hope that they will become exactly like us and will be very friendly and do everything together! I am glad that we are such friends! A few moments later... At last we woke up and now our children are playing all over our raft! They are so beautiful and very much like us. 
they have so much energy, just like in us. And now our task will not be to build a raft and everything, but to create comfortable conditions for our children to be good here, and they are not bored here. I am so glad that we have managed to make a comfortable living, and now we can live here with our children and not worry about any food or some resources. Now we have everything and we can live here in peace. On the raft is much more interesting to live, because there are no malicious mobs and other animals that usually interfere. So guys, we did this job on this raft, and now we can finish this series on the game Minecraft. Subscribers, if you like this series, like and write your opinion in your comments. Also, subscribe to our channel, and do not miss the following videos. All good luck, and everyone, until- Hello friends! Hi, dear subscribers! Today, we continue to play the game Minecraft. Today, we will have a rather unusual series. In today's series, we will survive in only one circle in the world, beyond which it is strictly forbidden to go. If you leave, you'll be killed instantly. So our job is to survive within this circle. Hello, everyone! I am so glad we're back at Minecraft! I mean, it's cool that we have to survive in the circle today, but we forgot one nuance! I mean, we're all pregnant, and we can't do this much, or we're gonna have kids! We need to be careful, and we need to create comfortable conditions for the lives of our children! The most important thing is to have a roof over your head! Hello, everyone! Oh my god! I do not believe that we are locked in this circle pregnant! We need to quickly come up with something to make us survive. It's a good thing there's plenty of resources around here, and we can do anything to survive here. The worst part is probably the food if we don't have fish in the water. Hello, friend. Let's get down to the extraction of something in this circle. We don't have much choice, but we should start doing something, because it's going to get dark soon, and there will be evil mobs that can easily reach us and kill us. We have to do everything quickly and efficiently. Otherwise, we will not have time to do anything. Go, my little pony. Right on the edge of this circle, we have a big forest, and we have a couple of trees near us that we can easily get without crossing the line. Wood is a vital resource that we will need very much. We need it for banal crafting of some things on the workbench, for example, tools that will allow us to get some resources faster. So that Fluttershy wouldn't do everything alone and get us a very important object for so long, I decided to help her with this task. While she's chopping down one tree, I'm starting the next one. Thanks to such coordinated work, we will quickly accumulate all the necessary resources and they will be several times more in the same time. Now we just have to wait for the saplings to fall out of the leaves. Now, my job will be to collect all the wheat seeds from the herbs near the circle. We will need wheat very much because the bread that is made from wheat will be our only food except for the apples that fall out of the tree. We will also need to check whether it is possible to fish here. If it is possible, then the garden can wait a bit. Well, I'm going to a big part of resource extraction. If you look at it this way, in the ordinary world, you don't need to mine a lot of land. But that's not the case here. We have very little wood, so we will be forced to build our house from the ground because there is so much of it. And we will be able to save wood for something else, but not for the house. So, we've got enough timber and now we're building things to start building our house. The first thing we need is a workbench on which we'll do everything else in our house. The next thing we're gonna do is of course make a chest in which to put everything. We'll make the oven when we get the rock. So now I'm making a pickaxe to go down the mine. Okay, well I start building our earthen house. We need to make four beams at the corners of this island and then connect them. The most important thing is not to accidentally jump out of the circle or it will be very bad for my friends without me. Now you need to carefully finish the base of the house and make the ceiling so that no rain and other natural phenomena do not interfere with us. Okay, well, now that we have a wooden pickaxe, I'm going to dig up a rock to make ovens and to pump our tools. In addition to all this, I want to make a room in these depths for our garden, which will grow the weed I collected. I think that would be the best idea because it does not occupy a place on the main island and wheat is always useful. We are already quietly able to build our house in just one small circle in which we are isolated. 
I suggest that we use all the terrain that we can, that we have a big house in which we will also settle our children. Please don't forget them, because they need to live comfortably instead of just doing something. So we need to make it perfect. So, we continue to build our house. We will not demolish the already existing beams in our base house, so we will only build. Now we will close all the holes that remain on our island and make the same place in our house. And the entrance to the cave waters we will make through the hatch, which we will scrape and put in our house. Okay! Well, I'll be making the remaining walls in our house that will be used as well as borders. We're only going to have one way out of the house, and that's the way out, because we have a very small area. So we need to use it as much as possible. Or else we're going to be too crowded in the house, especially for our kids who want to play. I will now help Pinkie Pie with the construction of walls. We will have several walls, of course, with windows and half the walls with solid ground. This is specially made so that we have only beds at our windows and the walls with earth we will have warehouses or workbenches with stoves. I think it will be good interior in our little house. Well, my job will be to make my way down to our water mines. It's going to be difficult because I only have land, water, and maybe some hatches I might not have enough to cover. We'll make a single hole through which we can get into the house, and there we'll probably set up hatches so we can easily get into the house from the cave. Now I'm going to do a pretty important job in our house. Instead of windows in our house, I'd rather put wooden fences that at least give oxygen to our house. Otherwise, we'd have a very stuffy and we wouldn't even be able to open a window. And that's too bad. We'd rather use all the glass to build a glass ceiling through which we watch the stars at night. So, I'm going to try to make a beautiful interior in the house so that we were comfortable to move around. We slept very soundly and of course that we had quick access to all our resources. We'll put the beds by the windows and we'll make stoves next to them so that sometimes these beds will warm up if it gets cold outside. Friends, it will be night soon and we need to go to bed. Tomorrow we will have children to care for. I hope we have all done for today. I can't wait to see our kids and play with them. It's a good thing we've made enough spacious interiors in the house and now we won't have too much room, even if we have children tomorrow. We have done very well for today and deserve a rest for the whole night in order to gain energy. This is the energy we will use to give birth to children and to play with them. We worked very hard for our children and now they have a pretty comfortable environment where they can play or even do whatever they can. So we finally have children! They are so much like us and look very energetic! Looks like they're starting to like it here and we built a house like this for a reason! It seems like they all became friends together and now they're almost as good friends as you and me! That's really cool. But now we need to come up with something for our kids. So we're probably going to build a second floor where they have their own beds and their own toys. This is the end of the next Minecraft series. Today we were able to survive in a circle and have children, and it is very cool. If you liked this series, then like and write your opinion in the comments. Also, subscribe to our channel. With you were My Little Pony. Hello, everyone. Hi, dear subscribers. Today we with you continue to play the game Minecraft. Today we have a rather difficult task because we will need to survive on an island with a volcano. There's going to be an eruption very soon, and that's why we need to hurry up with our resources, and we need to create comfortable conditions for our children, because we are pregnant. Hello, everyone! Hooray! At last we continue playing Minecraft again! Wow, it's very interesting that we're on this volcano island, and it's also very dangerous. We have to do our best to survive here, because if we can't make a sanctuary for us, we're all going to burn up in lava, which is going to be right here very soon. We need to make a strong defense to save us and our children. Hi, hi! Very scared that we are on this island, and I am very scared! Now we need to urgently go extract all vital resources, and after that we will proceed to build our first home. We'll have to make an underground shelter where we'll hide from the volcano. There. 
We need to make a lot of important resources to live at least a month. Hello, everyone. Let's not delay any longer and start extracting all vital resources. We must not waste a moment in order to cope with the extraction of all resources and to build our first hut in which we will be comfortable to live and we can escape from all natural phenomena except the volcano itself. I hope we manage. Hurry up and run! Let's start harvesting wood from trees on this island. They are big enough here, so we will not have problems with the tree. Also here is a very beautiful jungle, so we will have not only a cozy, but also a very beautiful house from this wood. I'm starting to like this survival here, so I'm going to try really hard to create comfortable living conditions. Okay, I'm going to be extracting some plant seeds from the grass. Basically, it will be wheat seeds, which we use to make a large vegetable garden on which to grow all this wheat. It's very important to us because it makes bread out of it. And it's going to be one of all the kinds of foods that we're going to need in our shelter to survive. I will now mine the land, as well as the rock for our further development. We need the boulder very much to scrape iron tools, as well as furnaces. Without that, it will be much more difficult for us to survive on this island. Now, I have dug a small, already cave, which will be used in the future to extract stone and other ores that will be useful to us. And now I will be doing a lot of important part of our survival. We definitely need sand because it can be melted into a furnace glass. We'll make a lot of bottles of water out of it, so we won't die of thirst in our shelter and we'll always have water. We'll also need glass for our little house, where we'll be living for a while. So now we start building our house. I will, as always, build the basis of our house, namely beams. This will indicate the size of our beautiful house, and later we will just connect them and will be very beautiful. Later on, I'll just make the ceiling, and we won't have much time left until we build the whole house. I'm going to help build the Fluttershy house. We need to make sure a beautiful floor of wood, because because of this, we will have a very warm and no dirt. And so if we walk on the sand, then we will have the whole house in the sand and will be very nasty to be located. We need to create comfortable living conditions, not just one. Now I'm doing the final part of building the foundation of our house. Then there will only remain to make the interior, which I will not do anymore. Now I will make window frames as well as insert immediately glass into them, which I have already melted into the oven. I hope that will be very beautiful for me and will open very beautiful views right from our house. Now I finish our interior at last in the house and very soon we will be able to move in. We need to put necessarily four beds. They need wool and it is good that we have a lot of sheep nearby. They have helped us very well with crafting beds. Also, we need to put ovens with a workbench and a chest and then we will have a house ready for a good life. All right. Let's all run for the volcano, which is about to erupt. We need to see how much lava has gone up, and we need to think about when we're going to build an underground shelter to survive the eruption. Hurry up and run after me, because we might not make it in time, and the eruption will start soon. Oh my god! The volcano is about to erupt, because everything is already on the surface of the mountain! Lava is very close, and we better hurry up and build a shelter for us and our future children. I think they're going to be born very soon, so we need to hurry up and build a shelter and have our babies. Hurry up and get back to building. Now we immediately begin construction. The first thing we need to do is to dig a deep hole in which our underground base will be located. We must try to do as much as possible, but we must have at least some oxygen underground. It is good that we live in the world of Minecraft and here everything is possible, even to survive underground all life. So, I now with Rainbow Dash will make the room of our base. It will not be very large, but not very small. The most important thing is that all the things we need fit here. First of all, it will be of course chests with our food and resources, as well as a few beds on which we will be comfortable to sleep even in this dungeon. 
I'm going to start arranging things in our shelter. Twilight Sparkle and Rainbow Dash have worked very hard to create such a large shelter, and now we have exactly enough space for everything we have thought of in this place. I'm going to put a lot of chests in here, which we're going to put vital resources into, as well as the beds we're going to sleep on. We finally have the children we've been waiting for! It is very good that we have managed to create all the vital conditions that are required for us and for our children! They now have food and a lot of free space and they're safe! The most important thing is that they do not run away or then very soon there will be a volcanic eruption. They were born so cute, I really like them! They're all so much like us, they're just like us! It looks like they've become very good friends, and now they're as good friends as we are, only much younger. But nothing like growing up, I think they will become as cool ponies as we are now. So to speak, we'll be ponies from generation to generation. Friends, I know it's cool that we had kids, but now we have to stay alert. Something that we've been afraid of from the very beginning of survival, namely volcanic eruption, could happen very soon. Now, let's have someone stand outside and watch. And we'll listen to him. And when he gives the signal, we'll go down to our shelter and we'll be sure to build. I hope we have all the resources we need in the dungeon. Oh my god! Girlfriends! Volcano eruption happened and already lava is coming to us. Rather all run to our shelter, only gently. First the kids come, and then we go so they don't get lost. I hope everyone hides, and now I will close our shelter so that the lava does not penetrate us here. Wow, like we almost escaped. That's it! We've done our job! We were able to survive the volcano eruption, and now we'll be spending our time right here in the shelter. It's good that we'll all be together. If you like this series, then like and write your comments. Hello, friend! Hello, followers! Today, we will play a game called Minecraft. In this game, we plan to make a simple survival, which has not been for so long. I hope that will be interesting, because we have not done so long. We are now in an ordinary village that we found when we first came into the world. Hello! Hurrah! At last, we are back in this beautiful game! I have not been mining resources for a long time, and have not built different buildings! It's so interesting, and we haven't done this in a long time. Let's get to this survival. I'll immediately go get food for us all. I'm looking forward to it. Hello. Very cool that we are returning to this game Minecraft, but I am very interested in your opinion on one idea. How about sharing responsibilities this time and everyone will do their business in survival, which will benefit everyone. For instance, I want to go to a cave and dig ore with a rock. Hello, everyone. Hello, subscribers. Wow, this idea is just super, and if everyone will do their job, we will cope with survival even faster. While, for example, someone is building a house, another is already extracting wood for interior construction. This is a very cool idea, Rainbow Dash. All right, folks, let's get started. I run first of all to mine rocks and ore in caves. I wonder which cave I will fall in my way. Maybe I can now meet a cave in our village and do not have to go anywhere. It seems like there is nothing to see, and there is nothing here. This house is buried in the ground. Pity the inhabitants. So if you come here, what we will see? Oh my god, the cave! Now I will try to jump there! Ah! A few moments later... Girlfriends! Girlfriends! Where's our friend Rainbow Dash? Has anyone seen her somewhere? We agreed to meet here and came all but her. I am very worried for her because she may disappear somewhere in the cave. There are angry mobs and not only that can cause her severe harm. I hope we can find her. Oh my god! Fluttershy, I have not personally seen Rainbow Dash. She said she would go to the nearest cave but never said which one. I think we should go check out the nearest caves in the area, see if she's still there, and she's stuck somewhere. It's a terrible situation when you lose a friend, you don't even know where she is. Girlfriends, I think I know where we need to go. I went out of the house with Rainbow Dash and saw that she was walking towards the rift in our village. I know where there's a good spot to look for her, because we don't have a deep rift, and you can see it from high. 
Fluttershy, you're still pregnant? I'm shocked. What? Fluttershy is pregnant? Did I hear something wrong? Oh my god. Besides the fact that we have lost a friend, Fluttershy is pregnant. This is very cool, but it will be difficult to solve two problems at the same time. Oh my god! Here's Rainbow Dash. I'm just shocked. She went into this cave and died. Friends, what are we going to do? Forgive me, Pony. I wanted to surprise everyone, but it was a bad day when I was pregnant. I am shocked that Rainbow Dash died. And on such a day, no matter how I give birth today. Now I invite all of us together to dig a grave for Rainbow Dash near our home so that she will always be with us and we are always with her. Very sorry for her. In order not to start Fluttershy labor early, I suggest we all try and dig a grave for Rainbow Dash. If we don't do this now, we won't have time for everything else. Now we'll make a grave and run to the local hospital where Fluttershy will give birth. I hope this will give us an atmosphere because Rainbow Dash is no longer with us. So now I start to create a grave for Rainbow Dash. There will be a fairly spacious room for a coffin to be comfortable Rainbow Dash, as well as us, because it is so easy to dig. Then Twilight Sparkle will build a big and beautiful cross and will be a beautiful grave for our friend. I never thought I'd bury my friend. Yes, now I will build a beautiful cross. It will be made of stone bricks, which are very dear to us in extraction, but not at all sorry for the grave of our friend. She was such a good pony, always cheerful and hardworking. And now she was unlucky, and she broke into a cave. I hope she comes back to us merrily. It turned out a great grave. Very sorry for our friend Rainbow Dash. My friends, I'm going into labor, and I'm going to the hospital. A few moments later. Here's the hospital. Doctor, doctor, I'm pregnant. Help me, please. I have to give birth, so my friend died. You can help me make it quick and tell me what to take to reduce the pain and recover. Thank you, doctor, for seeing me. I couldn't have handled this situation without you. Twilight Sparkle, how do you know about this hospital? The first time I am here, and I really like it. I didn't know Minecraft had hospitals where they could even deliver babies. A very interesting game. It surprises me more and more. I hope Fluttershy will be all right. I have known about this hospital for a long time. I was told about it by residents of our village. They are very good interlocutors. You can learn a lot of different things from them. For example, one there believes in a miracle that the dead can rise from any outcome. For example, this could be the best news of his life he's ever needed. Guys, I finally had a baby! Look at my sweet girl who showed up! Isn't she beautiful? I like it very much too, and I'm glad that you could help me. I wish Rainbow Dash could see all this. What? Rainbow Dash, are you alive? Cannot be under what conditions you have now crawled out of your grave? I'm just shocked. It cannot be. Oh my god! I have many questions and yet few answers! Rainbow Dash, are you again with us, or is it some kind of prank? How can it be that we are suddenly alive? What happened to you, and how did you get out of your grave? I'm just shocked that a dead man came out of the grave we were digging. Guys, don't worry! It's the real me! I heard the first thing when it came to life was the news that Fluttershy gave birth! Congratulations to you, girlfriend! This news saved me, and I came out of the world of the dead! If you're wondering how I died, I'll tell you. I was walking into the mine and found a rift in our village. I tried to jump there and I crashed. We believe you, Rainbow Dash, because you are our friend. We're very happy to have you back, and it looks like the people of this village are telling the truth about the legends of the dead. It seems that this village is mysterious, and we are very lucky that we are all back together again. We even had a replenishment for one pony. Let's build a nice playground now. Now I'm going to build it! We're going to make a wonderful swing so we can swing it! We will also put a high slide with which the child will ride, and we will also make a swing which you can ride together! Next, we will make a lot of toys such as a stroller, dollhouse, doll, and even a chest with toys! That's it. Now there's a wonderful place where my baby can play and live with us. In principle, we can continue our survival because we brought the Rainbow Dash to life and I gave birth to my child. Today was a very exciting series. We were both sad and fun, 
but won the joy. Very cool. Okay, well, we have a playground now, and I'm alive. I think that this will be the end of this series, because it turned out to be unusual instead of being ordinary. Haha. <laughs> Like this video and write comments about it. And also, subscribe to our channel. See you soon.